muscle groups, core, and back. This is straight up health. Let's get hardcore. Before we start talking about specific muscles, let's get something straight. The core is not just the abs. I don't care about your abs or six pack if you can't keep your whole midsection engaged during a plank or push up. If you think of an apple core, it's the center of an apple. Our core consists of all the muscles that make up our torso and midsection, not just the front. The general theme of the core is protection and stabilization of the midsection and the spine. Let's start with the obvious, rectus abdominis or abs. Your abs or abdominal muscles are located on the front of your body between your sternum and your pelvis, so your stomach region. Along with stabilizing the trunk of the body, the abs function is also flexing the spine. Think crunching or bending the spine inward. Some exercises that work your abs include crunches, Wow, what a surprise. Planks, hollow body, and mountain climbers. Of course, there are lots of variations of each of these and way more exercises that will work your abs. Moving to the outer side of our abs, we have our external obliques, which span between our ribs and our pelvis. The obliques function involves rotating and flexing the trunk, and of course, stabilizing as well. Think crunching like the abs, but also with a twist or rotation. Some oblique exercises include bicycle crunches, side planks, cross body mountain climbers. Now for the muscles on the back, starting with the trapezius or traps. Your traps are wide triangular muscles located within your neck, back, and upper trunk region. These are a little harder for me to show on myself, so here's an image. These probably aren't traditionally considered part of your core, but because they affect posture and stabilization, I included them. Your traps have several functions that include movement of the head, neck, and shoulders, so I can't really narrow it down to one movement. Tilting your head, shrugging, rotating your shoulders, things like that. Some exercises that work your traps include shrugs, bent over I's, T's, or Y's, upright row, lateral raises, and shoulder press. The last muscle we'll go over is the latissimus dorsi, or lats. Your lats are large muscles located in your middle back that connect from your spine to your upper arm. Of course, along with stabilizing the spine, their function also involves movement of the arm and shoulder, movement around the scapula or shoulder blade. Think pulling your arm towards your pelvis or down. Some lat exercises include bent over rows, pull-ups, and inverted body weight rows. So why is our core and back important? If you haven't caught on by now, stabilization. It plays a huge role in stabilizing that important part of our body, the spine. It also helps with balance and knowing how to engage your core and back during workouts or exercises is gonna help you get more out of your workouts because you can do them more safely and maintain proper form. There's a lot to unpack and learn with your core and back muscles, so start simple. Go to a one minute plank, stay engaged and stabilized, and thank your core for helping to keep you straight up.